What's going on internet? IG here again today with another best of video. Today, we're gonna to be having a look at the best office suite that you can get on the Linux desktop. Now this one might be a little bit of a rollover for some of you because you probably already know what the best office suite is. However, there are some very compelling options out there that have surfaced in the last year and a bit uh, that we're going to be having a look at today. So without further ado, let's get into the best office suites that you can get on the Linux desktop. All right, so let's dig into this with the first office suite of the day, and that is Caligra. Now Caligra is the office suite that has uh, it's been ported or I guess succeeded from the K-Office suite that was built into KDE or available for KDE for quite some time. Uh, Caligra was obviously a uh, kind of a fork of that and now obviously K-Office as, as, as an office suite is long dead. Um, but Caligra wants to take that banner on and keep making an office suite that integrates really well with KDE. Um, and really that's this particular suite of software's strongest suit. Uh, not only that, but also they have a bunch of programs that don't often come in a typical office suite. They have a bunch of quality software that you can use. But when it comes to the, to the bread and butter of what an office suite does when it comes to word processing, presentation software, and spreadsheet software, um, overall, it's not bad. It's just kind of limited and a little bit basic. Not only that, the, the user interface is a little bit clunky. Um, if you're used to KDE and you've used KOffice before, then you'll feel right at home. But Oftentimes, at least I feel, uh, I'm not really going to be sort of drawn to use this office suite, mainly just because it, it just looks and feels pretty foreign. All your controls are down on the side here, and yes, you can configure this to your heart's content, and there are plenty of options, just like everything else with KDE, to be able to change up the look, the style, um, the theme, where everything is placed, but out of the box, you don't really feel like an expert, so it's not really that... Um, it's not really that, I guess, compatible with getting a lot of work done. And I guess probably the really hard thing about it is that it doesn't have any support, at least directly out of the box, for Microsoft Office files. So at the end of the day, Caligra is really nice on a KDE desktop. It looks nice and it works well, but it is a little bit limited in terms of what you can do. We're going to move on to G Office, the G Office suite. Now, G Office um, or GNOME Office is made up of a couple of different apps. So we've got Abbey Word and we've also got Numeric, which is the uh, spreadsheets alternative. Now, the, uh, these are very tightly integrated with the GNOME desktop, so you can kind of think of them as um, the K-Office, but they're a bit more, or, or Caligra, but they're a little bit more mature. They have a few more features going for them, and while they are very, I guess, simplistic in how they look, they're actually, they're capable of quite a lot, and the other thing is that they're wickedly fast. You can get, you can open up this one of these programs, they take up hardly any system resources, and you can get your work done really quickly. Um, there's fairly decent compatibility here in terms of your Microsoft Office and all that sort of thing, um, but they don't come with the absolute richest features set out there. As you can see, going through some of these tabs on Abbey Word, um, there's plenty. There's plenty of good quality options here. Rich text formatting. There's um, document history versions. There is, um, you know, full dictionary and spell checker support. There's mail merging. There's a lot of powerful stuff in this software. So don't take its simple appearance as uh, as as unassuming. Um, because yeah, it actually can pack quite a punch. Uh, so we are up to version 3.0 and I guess one of the downsides of Abbey Word and, and Numerica, the fact that they don't get uh, updated all that often. Um, but really when you've got soft software that's as solid as what these two are, you can't really go wrong. And as a bonus, I thought I might throw in uh, Gnote. Gnote is uh, kind of the, the, I guess, lighter on resources than what, um, than what Tomboy was back in the day. So. So Notes or G Note is not bad at all as a little note taking app that you can throw in there with the G Office suite. So now let's move on to the bigger ones. I'm going to talk about WPS Office. WPS Office also used to be known as Kingsoft Office Suite. Uh, so this is the more recent and up to date version of that. You find these often on a lot of random, especially Chinese distributions. WPS or Kingsoft is quite big in uh, China from what I can tell. And uh, they basically create an office suite that looks, re looks and acts really similar to what Microsoft Office does in its modern, uh, in its modern iterations. So you can see here, when you, when you first open up the program, you're greeted by a bunch of templates. And I think that's something I really love about it. Um, you can then download and open up those templates all within the program. 
uh, and then obviously if you do want to have a look in your tabs here it looks really similar to what's available in Microsoft Office so whether it's um, whether it's references reviewing marking up comment sections exporting to any number of different formats uh, the ribbon based interface is going to be very familiar for anyone who has used Microsoft Office in the past and uh, not only that but the software looks pretty nice um, it's quite capable, obviously it's an unashamed knockoff, but it's got a very intuitive UI with tabbed document browsing here, which I wish every Office suite would integrate now because that is really cool. Um, and it's got great compatibility with um, Microsoft Office files. And also the user interface is themable as well. If you do want to go back to the classic style, you can restart the, uh, you can restart the application and it'll go back to the classic uh, I guess the classic word 2003 sort of look. So if I drag that down here, you can have a look. That kind of looks a little bit like what word 2003 used to look like. So that is WPS Office. Um, I guess on the downside, when it comes to uh, the, the programs that are available, you can get a word, a word processor, a spreadsheet program and presentation. That's it. Um, doesn't come with any of the extras, um, but it looks nice, it works well, and for the average user who's used Microsoft Office before, they're gonna feel right at home. And while it is a little bit cheesy in places due to its, um, I guess it's Chinese roots, and that coming across with the English translations, um, overall it's not too bad. It is in alpha on the Linux versions, it's been, uh, it's been available for a while on Windows, um, so it is a little bit buggy, but if you're happy to put up with that, then you actually got quite a quality Office suite. All right, so let's move on to the king, and we all kind of know that this is going to be the winner of the um, best Office suite, but it's it's undoubtedly uh, LibreOffice. They they've just gone in leaps and bounds, far and beyond what uh, what OpenOffice uh, did for the community. We're up to version five, which just came out at the beginning of this month at the time of the recording of this video. Uh, and yeah, it just looks great. It works really well. The compatibility is constantly getting better. I mean, just as a few mentions of some of the things that they've done just with this version update, uh, they've included emoji support now so that you can have emojis within the text documents that you're writing. Um, it's, you know, it's fully featured in terms of being able to uh, be compatible with Microsoft Office documents, um, including you know highlighting comments, um, versions, all that sort of thing, uh, and it's even compatible with some uh, versions of iWork now. So you can actually import your pages, documents, and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. They've got improved image handling. They've got high um, high pixel density display uh, options there as well, so everything scales up nicely and looks great on high pixel density displays. Um, and more importantly, it just looks really nice and it looks at home on no matter what desktop environment you're using it on. Uh, whether you're using it here in Ubuntu like I am or if you're using it on a KDE desktop, they've got a great icon set and look and feel on no matter which desktop uh, you're using. And even on the, no matter what operating system you're using, whether it's Mac OS X or Windows 10 or any of those, it looks great on all of them. Um, and I think, yeah, it, it is a real testament to, to what the uh, open source software community is capable of when it comes to, uh, yeah, when it comes to creating great quality software um, for people to use. So very familiar, obviously, very familiar user interface for anyone that's used an Office program before, but they do have some great editing options down the side here with this new side panel that they've introduced in the last couple of versions. So what did you think about all of these different Office suites? Which one did you find the most compelling? And more importantly, which one did you find the most user-friendly? Because there's certainly plenty of options out there now that are just as fully featured as each other. Well, let me know what you think in the comments below. If I left out a good suggestion that you'd like to see, also let me know down below. And if you like what you see here and you want to see more, then definitely hit that subscribe button and you'll be able to find the best of videos coming to your inbox when they're released. As always, if you want to have a look at all of the other best of videos in this series, link to that playlist down below. Go crazy on that like button and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus are good places to find me. I'm IG and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out ladies and gentlemen.